Now let's understand about the list method. So we have a different list method and it is a very much important also because suppose anyone has given you any interview coding related question. So these are the different methods which will help. Suppose anyone has given you any question like you had to reverse a list. So for reversing a list, we have one inbuilt method available. So you should know like what are the inbuilt method is available. So if you use L dot reverse, the particular list will be reversed. Suppose if anyone is saying like you had to remove a specific value from the list. So for that we have a remove method is available. Suppose anyone is saying like you had to add a value into the list. So for that we have a append and insert method. So you should know like how actually you can use a different method which is already available in a list and that actually you can use in your coding and this will improve your coding also. So this is an important topic and you should know about this all the list method which is available. So let's understand one by one. So suppose I have one list. This is the list. Let me create one list. 3, 4, 5, 6. Now if anyone is saying like you had to add an element into this particular list. So we have one append method which is available. With the help of the append method, we can add any element into the list. So always remember append we use to add an element into the list. So if I will use a dot append, suppose I want to append 9 value into this particular list. Now if I will execute, if I will execute the a, you can see it was a 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, right? But 9 got added because we have used the append method. Now one thing if you will see, it actually added the value into the last. So append we use whenever you have to add uh, any value into the list and uh, whenever you have to add into the last only then only you will use the append method. Now, but suppose my requirement is like I want to add this particular value into this particular index like uh, I want to add here. But if I use append method, it is always adding into the last. So how actually I can add into the specific like suppose I want to add after three. So how actually I can do that? So in this way we have a insert method. So what actually we can write? So if I write first, I'll show you the list. This is the list I have. So if I'll do a dot insert insert, what actually I want? I want into the third index. In the third index, what value I want to add? I want to add a uh, ten. I want to add a 10. So what actually I am writing a dot insert. This is the which particular index. So this is the zero index. This is the first index. This is the second here uh, in the third index. What actually I want? I want to add the value 10. So that is the what actually I am writing. If I will execute this, you can see in the third index, the value 10 got added. So if you had to add the value at the last, then you will use the append method. If you had to add a value into the specific uh, index, then you can use a insert method. Because our requirement can be anything, right? Our requirement can be I want to add the value here. So based on that index, actually you can use a insert method and you can add the value. Now the next is the uh, remove. Suppose I have given one list. This is the list I have. Now what actually I want? I want to remove a specific value from this list. So I have a remove inbuilt, inbuilt method. I can use that. I will use a dot remove. Suppose I want to remove this 10. So what I will write a dot remove 10. If I will execute a, you can see 10 got removed. So we can use the remove method to remove any value from the list. Now we also have a pop method. So pop removes element by index. So let me show you the my list first. This is the list I have, right? Now in this list, suppose you want to remove any elements. So we have a remove method to remove any specific value. But suppose if you are using a pop, this is the list you have, right? 1, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 3, 4, 5, 6. This is the list we have. Now, if you use a dot pop, what actually it will do? It will remove the last element, last value. Now, if you will execute, you can see 6, right? Now, if you will execute, if you will check your list, you can see 6 got removed. So, whenever you have to remove the last element value, you can use a pop. Now we have a sort. So suppose this is the list I have. As of now it is sorted. Let me create a new list. Uh, I will use a 4, 5, 3, 7, 5. So and I can use a 9. So this is the list I have. This is the list I have. Now you can see this is not in sort format. I want to sort it. So how actually I can use I can use a sort method. So if I'll use add L dot sort and if I'll check if if I'll check the L 
you can see this list got sorted this list got sorted so you can use the sort method to sort the list you can see it's sorted right so sort method you can use to sort now suppose anyone is giving you any question and you had to reverse this list whatever the value is there you had to reverse so we have a reverse method so what i will write l dot reverse if i'll do this and if i'll check the l uh, let me again you can see this was the list right now if i'll use l dot reverse what actually it did it actually reversed the value so we have a reverse method for that list now we have a extend method so suppose you have a two list my first list is one three four this is the list second list is four five six now this this l1 list you want to add into this l only so what actually you can use you can use the extend method if i use l dot extend l1 and if i'll print l you can see whatever the value was there right it got added into the this list only so extend we use to add element from another list if you have to a list and you want to combine you can use the extend method now we have a index so index return the index of the first occurrence of a value suppose you want to know what is the index of this uh, 5 so what actually you can use l dot index and if you will write 5 l dot index 5 and if you will write you can see what actually it is saying it is the fourth index so how actually it is fourth index it is a 0 1 2 3 and 4 this is the fourth index right so if you want to know for particular value what is the index you can use the index method if you want to check what is the index of this 6 if you write 6 it is the fifth it is a 0 1 2 3 4 and 5 so we are getting a 5 now we have a count method now you want to count how many times 4 is there so what actually I, you can write l dot count 4 if you write this count 4 you can see 4 is 2 times right so if you want to check how many times the 4 is present you can use a count method to count how many time it is there so yeah so these are the different uh, list method is available which you should know because this will help you in a coding and in interview also sometimes directly they ask like to check your coding skill like to check your python skill whether you are aware about this all the method or not so they will ask you the simple question how to remove a last element from a list so you should know like we have a pop method if they will say how actually you can uh, remove a specific element so you should understand right we have a remove method if anyone is saying like you have to sort a list so we have a sort method is available if anyone is saying like you have to reverse a list so we have a reverse method if you have to add an element into the list so we have a append method and insert method so you should know about this all the method so do practice it you will get a idea